Take a step outside and seize the day now. Hey guys, Timber Time Outdoors here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are on our way to our hunting property. We're gonna do a little harvesting of some wood. But today's video is all about my dump trailer. So I have a 16 foot Lamar low profile gooseneck dump trailer. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit about why I chose a gooseneck and a 16 foot. I think most people buy a bumper pull and uh, they go with 14 foot. But I chose to go a little bit bigger and, uh, and go with the gooseneck design. So we'll, uh, we'll do a full review of the trailer and then some of the, my buying decisions and why I did that. So thanks for being with us and let's keep it in the timber. Okay, let's give you a quick walk around of the 16 foot gooseneck Lamar dump trailer. Here's the toolbox that has the pump and battery, room for straps and chains. It also has a nice hand crank. It comes with uh, two feet, so very stable design. I know some dump trailers have one down the center. This one's very stable. It has two 7,000 pound axles, so super strong. Uh, if you look right here, it's got a material tarp kind of built right in so you can roll that over any mulch or loose material that might fly down the road uh, the powder coat on this thing is outstanding uh, this is kind of a gray color but uh, really good powder coat held up really good to the first winter you can see here we have some uh, little hooks to hold that tarp down really nice rail design uh, very rigid and has room for stake pockets and there's a Great big D-ring here to hold the doors open when you're ready to dump. And you can see this comes with a seven gauge floor. Uh, this particular one has 12 inch uh, bracing, 12 inch on center. I uh, really love this floor. It doesn't have uh, a seam down the middle, anything to catch material. It does have one seam at the top here. I know most 14 footers don't have that. And then it comes with four tie downs on the inside. So great big D rings. So two in the back or on the sides and then two up in front. Um, so you can hold down any uh, implements or whatever. And uh, here in the back, you've got your ramp doors. So your ramps are behind those doors and they just slide right out. Got LED lights. Uh, here's a picture that shows um, how those ramps work. So they just kind of hook on there. You can see my tractor just barely fits. And then it also comes with a material spreader door. go with a gooseneck and a 16 foot dump trailer versus a bumper pole and a 14 foot which is what most people buy well I've got a heavy-duty truck so um, I uh, also pull a fifth wheel in the summertime for my family and so I already had um, the gooseneck ball in the bed that was one reason um, 
I'll show a picture of how I bring my tractor in the dump trailer. So it's pretty long when you have implements on it, but I can put the bucket up on top of the gooseneck. You can see here, I gain about three feet by putting the bucket up on the gooseneck arm. Now I can get my tractor in, um, in the dump trailer. I didn't feel safe uh, doing a 14 foot and hanging it over the front. So I wanted the gooseneck. Uh, also, a toe is a lot nicer. Um, I think everybody that has a gooseneck would, would tell you they'll never go back to a bumper pull. And I would agree, I really do like that. Um, but then 16 foot was, was mainly all about capacity. You know, I'm not hauling super heavy loads, so I need the volume. And, uh, and the other nice thing is people can't borrow it because most people don't have a gooseneck. So that was the main reasons. Uh, we'll get into some details about the Lamar and why I chose that brand and this particular model. So why did I choose Lamar? Well, there's, I don't know, 50 different trailer companies out there. I mean, I looked at, I don't know, five or six different ones. And um, I just felt like their quality was, was top notch. You know, if you're looking at some of the details about steel thickness and how many, um, you know, braces they have on the bed. Um, mine was actually upgraded to 12 inches on center doesn't have that many. I think it has one seam in the bed so a lot of a lot of manufacturers put a seam in the bed and that kind of catches material mine it does have a seam and that's only because it's 16 foot their 14 footer I don't think has a seam but it's way up towards the front and uh, I've never had any material get stuck in there but just really like the quality of it um, it went with a low profile versus a low low profile so you'll see um, dump trailers with drop axles this one's not a drop axle, but it's still low profile. And it's the way that they nest the bed as it closes. It nests down inside the frame versus frame of the bed on frame of the trailer. And you end up getting super high off the ground. And so if you're towing a trailer with a, a load like a skid steer or a tractor like I do, I just didn't want that thing up in the air. Your center of gravity gets way up in the air. Um, and a lot of guys will go with the low, low profile, and so they have drop axles. And um, I didn't go with that for a couple reasons. One, I don't have a super heavy load, so my tractor's not, you know, 12,000 pounds or whatever. And uh, and so center of gravity is a little less important for me. But I wanted the ground clearance because I'm taking this thing out in our fields and so forth. And the other thing is I've, I've seen some like car trailers with drop axles and I know the dump trailers maybe have a better drop axle, but have you ever seen them going down the road and the wheels are like that? You know, I don't know. These trailers get abused and you're almost always throwing stuff in them and possibly overloading them. They're going over bridge decks. And I just didn't like the drop axle design. That's me personally. And the way that Lamar does their standard, which is called a low profile, is a lot lower than most standard dump trailer uh, designs. And that's because of the way they nest the frame versus stack the frame. Um, so look at Lamar's. I I really like it. Um, they come in different painted colors too, kind of a stupid thing, but I like the gray because it matched my truck. Uh, so anyway, that's Lamar and my 16 foot gooseneck dump trailer. that's going to wrap up our video of the Lamar dump trailer. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more uh, content like this. Share with your friends. It really helps out the channel. So that'll do it for you guys. Keep it in the timber.